Have you ever paused to consider how a single idea, a solitary innovation, can radically reshape the way we live, move, and exist on this planet? Today, let's embark on a journey into the mind of such an innovator, a man whose visions and creations continue to echo through our lives, inspiring a future that once seemed the fabric of science fiction. Welcome, dear friends, to an exploration of Buckminster Fuller's Dymaxion world, a narrative that promises not just to inform, but to illuminate the genius of one of history's most prolific inventors. Buckminster Fuller, affectionately known as Bucky, wasn't just an inventor. He was a philosopher, a mathematician, and a designer who dared to look at the world, not as it was, but as it could be. His life's mission, to make the world work for all of humanity in the shortest possible time through spontaneous cooperation without ecological offense or the disadvantage of anyone. A tall order indeed, but Fuller was no ordinary thinker. His concept of Dymaxion, a portmanteau of dynamic, maximum, and tension, encapsulates his approach to comprehensive problem solving, aiming to achieve the maximum output from minimal inputs, a principle that feels increasingly relevant in our resource-constrained world. The Dymaxion House was Fuller's answer to the pressing housing crisis post-World War II. Imagined as the home of the future, it was designed to be lightweight, cost-effective, and easy to assemble from prefabricated parts. Suspended from a central mast, its innovative structure reduced the need for traditional building materials aiming to provide affordable, efficient living spaces. Though never mass-produced, the Dymaxion House set a precedent for sustainable architecture, challenging the status quo of residential design. Then came the Dymaxion Car, a vehicle that looked more at home in the pages of a sci-fi novel than on the roads of the 1930s. With its teardrop shape and three wheels, the car was designed for efficiency and safety, boasting an impressive fuel economy and the ability to carry several passengers. Despite its forward-thinking design, the Dymaxion car faced commercial failure, a fate Fuller attributed not to the car's engineering, but to society's readiness, or lack thereof, for such radical innovation. Perhaps Fuller's most enduring legacy is the geodesic dome, a spherical structure composed of interconnected triangles. These domes could cover more space without internal supports than any other structure, making them incredibly efficient and versatile. From military radomes to the iconic spaceship Earth at Epcot, geodesic domes have found myriad applications a testament to Fuller's genius in turning mathematical principles into practical solutions. Fuller's innovative spirit extended beyond tangible inventions to the conceptual, with the Dymaxion map offering a new way to look at our planet. Unfolding the globe into a nearly flat surface, this map minimized distortion, presenting the world's continents as one interconnected landmass. It was a visual reminder of Fuller's global perspective, emphasizing unity and the shared destiny of humanity. His work on global resources and sustainability, encapsulated in the concept of Spaceship Earth, underlined the finite nature of our planet's resources and the necessity for stewardship. Fuller argued for the intelligent management of Earth's resources, anticipating the modern sustainability movement by decades. His ability to foresee the environmental challenges we face today speaks volumes about his visionary outlook. Despite the brilliance of his ideas, Fuller's work was not without its critics. Skeptics questioned the practicality of his designs and the utopian idealism that underpinned his visions. Yet, it's precisely this idealism that has endeared Fuller to generations of architects, designers, and environmentalists. His willingness to challenge conventional wisdom and imagine a better future has left an indelible mark on the world. 
Today, Fuller's influence is evident in the ongoing pursuit of sustainable design and architecture. His principles of doing more with less, of seeing the world as an interconnected system, resonate with contemporary efforts to address climate change, resource scarcity, and environmental degradation. His legacy is not just in the structures we build or the vehicles we envision, but in the way we think about our place on this planet. His ideas continue to inspire future generations of inventors, architects, and thinkers. From the resurgence of interest in geodesic domes for eco-friendly living, to the exploration of Dymaxion-like concepts in transportation and urban design, Fuller's vision for a sustainable, efficient world lives on. In the spirit of Fuller's Dymaxion philosophy, innovators today are developing technologies and designs that embody the principle of doing more with less. Whether it's through advancements in renewable energy, sustainable urban planning, or efficient transportation systems, the seeds Fuller planted continue to grow, pushing us toward a more sustainable and equitable world. As we draw this exploration to a close, we're left with a few challenging questions. What if Fuller's visions had been fully realized in his lifetime? How would our world look today if the Dymaxion house or car had become ubiquitous? And more importantly, can we afford to ignore the lessons of his unbounded imagination as we face the environmental and societal challenges of the 21st century? In reflecting on the genius of Buckminster Fuller's inventions, we are reminded of the power of visionary thinking. Fuller showed us that to change the world, we must first reimagine it. His Dymaxion world, though not fully realized in brick and mortar, endures in the minds and hearts of those who continue to dream of a better future. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me on this journey into the life and legacy of one of history's great minds. May we all carry forward a piece of his indomitable spirit as we strive to make our own world a little more like the one he envisioned. Goodbye, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep inventing, and keep exploring.